Hey, it's Nax, and welcome back to my channel. What's up? If you guys are new around here, I don't usually do reaction videos, so manage your expectations. I usually do tech videos, gaming playthrough, PC videos, and my co-host just left me. Fine, be that way, Billy. Uh, but and I actually wasn't thinking of doing a reaction video to the first episode of The Last of Us because I was fortunate enough to be invited to the world premiere of The Last of Us here in LA. And whew, boy, was it an experience. Um, happened. Like, first of all, it was raining super hard that night. However, as soon as we got there, the, there was a tent and to, it was very warm in the tent and everything else was pretty much organized. Um, we got free popcorn, free soft drinks. So that was a good, and I got pretty good seat. We watched the episode, and then we got we also got invited to the after party. So from the theater, there was a tent right beside the theater, and they actually, you know, I found the event team so thoughtful because they actually made like a row where people were holding umbrellas, and then you could like pass through the umbrellas. And as soon as you got to the inside the tent in the after party, it was so wow like the ambience was amazing like we, they had a photo booth which i tried out they had food which is always a good thing um they also had drinks though i didn't try out any of the drinks i tried out most of the dessert though and they even had some swag bags which i was able to bring some home they even had a cool statue of a clicker which i feel like they also used in the set for that you guys will know what i mean um and i got to meet a lot of cool people so there you know right off the bat can i just say that the cast and crew and everyone who worked on the movie they were all so lovely and kind and so welcoming i mean if there's anything that i can describe about the vibe that night it's that everyone wanted to be there like everyone was having fun being there um and everyone was there for the love of the last of us sir jeff keely so <laughs> i kept calling him sir jeff keely excuse me are you sir jeff are you the creator of the game awards and he's like i think he had this facial expression where he was a bit taken aback but i called him sir jeff but you know i think he kind of let it go but it was only after i talked to him that i realized i think i kept calling him sir jeff a lot and in the philippines you call each other sir at, or ma'am as a form of respect or seniority. And he was just all around so nice and he appreciated The Last of Us as well, which I, you know, was, I found very endearing. I mean, does, not, does he think that I think that he's a knight? Shelby and Matt, like from Girlfriend Reviews, you know, I've always thought so highly of them. I mean, I know that they work so hard for their channel. It was very easy for me to spot them in a crowd and walk up to them. And can I just say that Shelby is a bombshell. She's so beautiful and her skin was glowing and she was just so fun to talk to. And Matt, you're not so bad yourself. Neil Druckmann. Now, this one is an interesting one because he was not at all what I expected him to be. And not that I expected anything bad of him. It's just that he was going to be very busy that night. But as I was on my way out, when I, as I was about to congratulate him, I saw that he was really taking his time for all of his guests and really made them feel special. When I finally got to talk to him, he was so nice. And you could just really see how much he values your opinion and not just that, like he values the community as a whole. And speaking of the community, we know how the Last of Us community can get. They can get very passionate. So that was fun. I had so much fun and I can't wait to do that again for another show in the future. Um, so right now, I can't wait to watch it again to rewatch the first episode because there may be some things that I'll be able to notice this time, which I wasn't able to notice the first time. And we'll go ahead and talk about everything again at the end of the episode. So let's get started. Not all titles currently available. <laughs> New episodes, Sunday nights, 9 p.m. Let's go! I'm excited for next week already. Thus, bending the ant's mind to its will. I Fulmer love how I can watch this again with subtitles to on. <laughs> what to do, like a puppeteer with a marionette. Ants flesh with its own, but it doesn't let its victim That's die, the no. A bit quicker. It, it keeps its puppet alive by preventing decomposition. So if that happens, 
What do you lose? <clears throat> oh man, did this intro, when we saw it in the theater, we, everyone was like, wow. Because it looks so good. It looks so good. When I first saw this though, I couldn't help but think of Game of Thrones. Uh, wait, not exactly Game of Thrones, but House of the Dragon. Because in House of the Dragon, there was the blood that kept uh, spreading through. And with this one, it's fungus. So that was what I was thinking about. It's good. Oh my god. Fractions. <laughs> How old are you again? 36. I love Pedro Pascal. He's such a good actor. Jakarta. Where is that? Middle East? Middle East. <laughs> Definitely a country. Maybe part of Asia. I remember Asia loving a country. Part. Being a part of Asia isn't mutually exclusive with being a country. And in fact... You know what I just noticed? She's wearing a purple pink shirt just like in the game. Put that out. Happy birthday to you. You know, that one scene, I really like that just because you sense the authority of Joel, like how authoritative or how much authority he has over his brother. You should go home. So with that one, I kind of wish he just kind of told Sarah what was going on because it was so cryptic. It's almost as if, I mean, maybe she did that on purpose. Three nails plus one cross equals four given. <laughs> Everyone laughed at that. Some cookies. Chocolate chip? <laughs> that dog is a good actor. I must say. I love how they're kind of, not kind of, they're really following what happened in the game with the series. Except for that one though, with having to get Tommy from jail. Easy, easy, Mercy. He's so, so cute. What are you doing out here, boy? No! Come on, Mercy, please. Home. Mercy! Man, I didn't know what to feel about Mercy getting away because I was like, Oh man, but Mercy might die. <laughs> the hair in the mouth. What are we doing, Joe? Get your seatbelt on. Oh my Hold god. On. Oh my god, this is good. Come here, come here. Come here, come here. I got you. I got you. I got you. Oh, I got you. Are you okay? Stop. Oh, Joel has perfected that father worried look. Like, he's just so good. And even Sarah, too. We are not sick! Something bad is gonna happen to this kid, I just know it. You know, something that I noticed with the entire marketing of this um, is that I think that you're trying to make um, the firelight, fireflies, firelight, fireflies seem like good guys. Oh no, I'm not a fire! Oh, oh shit. I'm not a, I'm not a firefly! <laughs> you really, you really sense how chaotic everything was in that scene. So that one was a little bit different with that scene because it shows that basically Ellie was Veronica and 
she was taken hostage by the Fireflies. But in the game, you just kind of knew that Marlene and Ellie were friends. They didn't show that. There are raiders. There are slavers. Mm. Sure oh my god, that's Last of Us Part 2. He never took off the watch. That was sweet. Like, it was, that scene was so short and sweet. Who'd he sell it to? Don't know. Well, where is he? Don't know. Yet. But we're gonna find out quietly. You're doing such a good job of representing the game. Alright. <laughs> Happy. We are in a war against a military dictatorship to restore democracy and freedom to the son of our right. Are the Fireflies being fed or anywhere? Rebellion takes time. You fight for 20 years and you get nowhere. You're not a rebellion. You just spray paint. You know, she has such a good point with that one. It made me think about real life. If you're feeling lost... You tell me to look for the light and I'll break your jaw. <laughs> Joel! You think he came down after he was infected? Maybe down here is where he was infected. But how do you get infected? Because I heard it's different from the game. Hmm. Yes. This was crazy. I, I think I missed who attacked them, so... He still tried to sell it. Oh wait, that's the guy from a while Twice. ago. You greedy fool. Oh, okay. Joel? That was exactly how Joel and Ellie met in the game as well. You okay? Sorry, give me my knife. What do you need a car battery for? Don't. Oh, it was Robert who started the firing. Sorry. I can do it. Kim, you don't have a fucking ear on your fucking head, could you please? <laughs> There's a team of fireflies waiting for her. You don't have an ear on your head. Now, Ellie. Marlene was such a mom there. I love it. Yeah. Nothing in 60s, 70s new stock, 80s, uh, 70s new stock, and 60s is nothing in. So, who's Bill and Frank? What's 80s? <laughs> Killing time. Well, what am I supposed to do? I'm sure you'll figure that out. I just noticed the butterfly. Didn't Sarah have a lot of butterflies in her room? So what's the deal with you anyway? You some kind of big wig's daughter or something? Something like that. You know? They always kind of zoom in on the watch, which makes me think that um, during one of the most, or during the most important scenes in this series, they're gonna pan Shit, back to I'm that. Actually outside. Oh, oh. <laughs> Maybe they'll do something new with it. What the hell? Hey, hey, don't, don't, don't move! Ooh. Don't move! Oh, were you? Yeah. I'm so blessed. Hands on your head. I I'm swore. so blessed. Hands on your head. All right, what about three quarters? Ellie knows. Unauthorized exit. I'll hang you for that. Oh, out of your fucking mind. Ellie! Oh, oh, man, Ellie. Bitch. The way Ellie slid to the side though to look at that, that was like, Ellie. I wonder if what, there's a next week on because that's what... <gasps> no! I don't know this song. Man, 
I'm so excited though. You just knew it was the end of the episode. Oh, oh, I just saw. I just noticed the infected there. Oh, uh, it's not like House of the Dragon where they had the director commentary and stuff. I'm gonna watch it until the end. I think there's gonna be a what's to come scene. You don't tell anyone about your condition. We try to keep you alive. There's no halfway with this. <laughs> it's the same. It's the same that they had in the cinema. But oh my god, so it was oh. only when I talked to Craig Ooh, that I this became is extremely excited of what this adaptation might look like. Oh, there's an inside of the episode. We are not sick! So this is how it begins. It begins with tragedy. Mm. Which yes. is, well, primitive instinct takes over. Ah! He can't help but act. Something else took control of him in a similar way to how the cordyceps does, it, except for him, it's a version of love. Huh. See, I interpreted that completely differently. <laughs> I interpreted the last part completely differently. I com I interpreted it as he wasn't really trying to protect Ellie, but more like the flashlight um, triggered his PTSD. Sorry, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm choking up. I can't imagine if... I'm put in a situation where I'm forced or I accidentally have to relive a traumatic part of my life. I don't think I'd like that at all and I might lash out. The writers did a good comparison between Sarah crying that Joel killed someone in front of her and Ellie liking it and making them a dangerous pair. But... I might have to replay the game, but I don't ever remember Ellie liking having to kill someone. There was even... Hmm. Like, all I can say is that there were moments in the video game where Ellie didn't want to kill people. Where she was actually the nice one, and Joel was the one who was trying to teach her that you can't just... You can't just trust anyone in this world. On that one, that kind of surprised me. But anyway, so rewatching this again, cast, amazing. Everyone did such an amazing job. Everyone was phenomenal. They were amazing actors and actresses. And not just, and I wouldn't say that it was completely different, like who they are in the video game, except for that, like, I really can't get over that comment about Ellie liking killing someone because. Yeah, no. No. Actually, Ellie was so innocent in the first game. That's something that maybe I have a gripe with. That they made Ellie seem so... Just very rugged already. And angsty. And Because the thing is, Ellie in the game was more spunky and just more of a smart ass, but she wasn't mad all the time, or she wasn't angsty, or she wasn't always cursing. So I think the best way to put it is the Ellie, the HBO Ellie has much more angst to her, much more, uh, uh, like she has much more anger and like a uh, fighting spirit in her. Um, and then we have Joel, Pedro Pascal, the Joel that I see in HBO is exactly the Joel that I see in the game as well. So it's like, you know, very much alike. Same with Tess, same with Marlene, same with the Fireflies, and even with the Fedra. Um, you know, they didn't, they didn't, uh, they weren't stingy with the action. And honestly, I just can't wait to see, I can't wait to see the infected and how, what they're going to look like and to just see them in the live action series because it's kind of exciting for me as someone who is a huge huge fan of the game as well but yeah I'd say overall this was an amazing first episode and they were able to even take or like do a side-by-side -side comparison with the game and this uh live action so I'm excited for what other scenes they're gonna put on the big screen you know 
so set design. Uh, the set design was so amazing. Everything looks so realistic. I love how like in that one scene with the plane where it landed, it you were actually in the game. Like if you've never played the game, oh, that's something that I want to say. If you've never played the game, they did such a good job of making you feel like you were in the game. Now that I think about it, that scene in the car where it's like you were from the point of view of Sarah, there was actually a part of that in the game where you were playing as Sarah and you could see everything from her point of view. And I love how, the, I love the shaky camera effect as well. It was convey that everything was so chaotic, everything was getting out of hand and going crazy, almost as if you're like in Sarah's head where, you know, you you could easily get dizzy and con and overwhelmed with everything that's happening. You, you know, you just want to look for your father or Joel for that matter. In the game, I also like the differences in from the game. Um, I like it whenever they they veer away from the different point of views, like because in the game you're only really playing as one character, so therefore you kind of just see things from his perspective. But with the show, like we get to see things which we wouldn't really get to see if we were playing the game, kind of like that scene between Marlene and Ellie, or that scene with Tess when she got beat up, and like how she was, we could kind of witness the abuse that the people feel or with, um, get from the Fedra. It adds that that it adds depth to it. And that's what's cool about taking something and showing it in a different form or medium. I'm gonna end it right here. <sighs> I'm excited. That's I wanna know what you guys think of the first episode, especially if you guys haven't played the game. Did you guys like it? Did you love it? Did you you know Abs or you guys absolutely obsessed with it? Uh let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And with that, I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.